a beautiful day outside, but yesterday it was raining pretty much all day. So we had to use, um, there wasn't enough solar to top the batteries off yesterday. So it's, it, the, the batteries have been properly hammered, probably worse than they've ever been hammered before. Um, what's that one? So we've got, we haven't got much of a load there so far. Output active power, 233 watts. Uh, the wife just cook, finished cooking breakfast. But we've drawn down the batteries by 214 amp hours. And the batteries are still at 51.91 volts. How good is that? That's like 11 kilowatt hours. I, there's no other way of actually showing this. I mean, I've taken out max before is 335, but that's at 24 volts. This is at 48 volts, so it's double. So that's over 400 amp hours on the old scale. So it's definitely the most I've ever taken out of the batteries and they're still cracking without too much of a problem. Now they're just starting to charge. But they've only got an amp going in, one and a half amps going in, so. I don't think that affects it too much, but that's still pretty cool. I'm very, very, very happy still with the way this is turning out. Um, maybe we just put on a quick load. Um, I'll put the microwave on. Is it on for 30 seconds? And then we've got um, preparations key here, Pete. So it's drawing 1900 watts. We go back to the Victron Energy. Ah, oh God, I can't see the screen and my mouse at the same time. Shitty screen capture. So it's drawing 40 amps and it's just under. Wait a minute, we'll just put that on again. There we go. They're drawing 40 amps from the batteries. And it's still at 51 volts. That is just awesome. Anyway, let me take you outside and show you on the shed roof and show you what I've done up there and what I still have to do. Okay, so basically up here, um, everything but this panel, this one panel here, and these two panels here, those three are in a string together. They aren't hooked in at the moment because I'm having problems with it tripping out the, um, the meter. But I, I'm, I've still got to pull it all apart again. I've got to move all these panels down. Um, I'm going to actually hang them over the edge a little bit, which isn't going to matter because we don't use this space beside the house anyway. Um, it's just, I've just got to do some cable management. I'm, I'm not happy at all with the cables hanging down under there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them in two strings and then run them all back up to the combiner box. When I replace that combiner box, I'll be able to run all the, all, all, all the strings without a problem and have more charging. Of course, I've still got those panels down there against the fence, which were up here. So I've changed them all out, so they'll be going to a new home shortly. So let's go back down into the, the power shed and show you the, the, the things we're changing down there. Well, that YouTube, that was 100 amps. I've actually changed it back to line mode. Uh, you can't charge it with line mode and um, solar while you're in battery mode. So I had to change it back for the first time in seven days. It hasn't even hasn't even clicked over. That's a hundred amps. Well, she's dropped back a little bit now. But you all saw it, a hundred amps. Gone at 18650 cells. Holy shit. Now I reckon that's probably not gonna be a perfect situation for the batteries. I'm not gonna leave it like that for too long, but I'm gonna run down there and, and, and see how hot and see how loud that inverter's getting. So let's go do that now. All right, tubers, we're back down here at the, um, at the battery sheds and the power shed. I don't know what more information you can get from up here. But you can't hear the fans running. And I fixed this by the way, I worked it out, it's just dust all over the lens that was making it real shocking. So that's 34, if we go over the shed wall, that's 20, so 14 degrees. So she's cooler up the top. And 
that's where the air comes out along the bottom there so you expect it to be warmer down there 40 degrees so basically I'm going to have to do something I, I know I've always had to do something about it but I've got nothing in this shed it's just a shed at the moment and even though it's on the south side of my house and gets absolutely no sun if I come back out here you see the sun there so there gets no sun at all on this shed nothing so it doesn't get hot from that but it will, it will end up getting hot just from from this itself I opened the door and I could noticeably feel the shed was warmer warmer not hot so that's pretty cool we took out 220 amp hours in the last 24 hours out of this system and she's still cracking on so what else have we got I'm also going to move this so that's putting in can you see you can hardly not see because of the Sun 28 amps so we've got 28 amps going in from there from those solar panels there we've got another 15 amps and all the rest is coming from the grid still doing 100 amps I went I put me little I uh, stuffed it in my pocket not that it's gonna matter anyway but There's no heat in any of those cells. There's no heat in any of the connections. I just went through it all before and, and tested every single, um, there was no really low other than that one there, which we know has got an issue and I haven't changed that yet. But there's no heat in any of the connectors or nothing. So I'm really happy with the way that's going YouTube. It's great. I've had to replace this one. This uh, fuse here, this has gone to a 50 amp. And with the sunlight there, you probably can't see that. There's 50 amp um, because the 16 amp one kept tripping and I've got to replace the one on the shed roof. But what I think I'm do doing is taking this out altogether because, we, ah, I keep picking things. Once that solar panel, those solar panels there sell, um, I'm actually going to run all the power into this unit um, because I'm noticing that gets a little bit hot and warms that shed up unnecessarily. So I'd rather keep the heat out of that shed. So I'm going to move all the power, move all the um, the charging responsibilities to this unit, and then see how that turns out. Hey guys, so back in the workshop again, where it's not anywhere near as windy as outside. Uh, nice sunny day, so it's all good. Um, 100 amps. I know I've said that like 12 times, but Jesus, 100 amps. It's a lot of charging. I've actually changed it back again now, so it's only... Oh God, I don't even know if you can see it. But anyway, I've changed it back and it's only doing 40 amps now. So um, even at 100 amps, and yeah, let's make that little square again. Even at 100 amps, it was only doing 0.625 of an amp per cell. Um, I, I don't think that's bad for it at all. Uh, I was thinking maybe it was too high, but 0.62 of an amp per cell. I think it'll stomp that all day long. It would have charged them nice and quick, but gee, she was pulling some power off the other system, uh, my um, other grid, grid system. So changed it back and charging it, what, eh, 45 amps now. So it'll take a couple of hours to get back up to fully charged, but I'm happy with that. Now, let's address the last uh, video that I did about the, um, the giveaway with everyone's advice and stuff like that i have decided against doing a video uh, a giveaway i was seriously considering it um i did think in my own head that it would be a beneficial thing to my um to my channel but a lot of people chimed in like plus 100 messages i got 70 messages on facebook um, so there's 170 at least in 24 hours just about doing a giveaway and and look the luck Everyone likes a giveaway. I like a giveaway. Yay free stuff, you know Wouldn't it be nice and all that sort of shit? But I don't think it would have I would have just given away money and there's a few very very intelligent people out there that worked out that I kept pointing to the Victron energy meter behind me, which is what I was thinking about giving away But that's 220 bucks um, that I had to take out of my own pocket and that represents oh god months months and months of YouTube income 
So I don't think that was at all a good idea. Now what I do think is a good idea and what I should have done all along and what my wife said I should do was give that Victron energy meter away. So I'm going to give that Victron energy meter away. But it's going to be to somebody that has helped an absolutely enormous amount on my channel. Um, and he's just a little bit like a qualified electrician. Yes, I can't say his name on here, but Mr. Sparky Man, that has helped me do so much stuff that I would have had to pay a lot more than my, for. I know I've given him heaps of um, batteries and stuff like that, but the appreciation is definitely there. So I don't even know where I put it. It's over there. That Victron Energy Meter is my now going to be given to my Sparky which I think is a very, very worthy cause. So, dude, I appreciate all your help. You're a good man. You're an ugly woman, but you make a good man. So I'm gonna wrap this on up for now, YouTube. Like, rate, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It gives me a chubby, it makes me feel good. I'm gonna go do some work and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya.